All right, we're up here this morning at Hollybrook Farms with Josh, and today we're going to be butchering our Cornish Cross chickens. And I might zoom in and see if you can see them a little better. There they are. We've pasture raised these. We move them every other day. They're in an electric net. We got our mobile coop we built for them to live in. Um, we actually have a other breed in there called kosher kings and they're about a month later so we'll be doing this again sometime within the next month but today the cornish cross they're just a few days over two months old and i'm going to walk over here and show you we're waiting on the water to heat up in our scalder so and then we'll go through and show you our process our killing cones didn't come in so we're doing everything the best we can this morning we're going to bleed them out here here's our scalder we're waiting on the water to heat up then we have a couple tables set up to do the other stuff we're going to be plucking by hand we've got coolers everywhere in ice we're going to cool them down once we get done with that and then we let them rest and then tomorrow we're going to try the poultry shrink bags. Um, we ordered some from Amazon, and I will uh, will video that too and let you know how that goes. That's the first time using those. But anyway, we'll maybe show you the process on a couple of them here a little bit later. All right, we're on the last one now, and he or she or whatever's in the scholar. Got Josh working hard. Look at him there. Looks like a man that's butchered a bunch of chickens today. So we let this thing scald good. And listen, guys, that is the key. We've had to hand pluck all these rascals. And that is the key is getting the temperature right, getting a good scald on them. The feathers will come off easy. If you don't, you know, it's just not going to work. So make sure you get your temperature right and give them a few minutes in there and it just makes life so much easier. I hear my dad going by, he's been here supervising this project. Usually you'll know they're about done when you see their big feathers their wing feathers coming and then the skin on their legs will start to strip off see right there so that one's ready to go big birds like I said earlier they're just a few days over two months old we weighed a couple of them uh, some of the bigger ones before we butchered them and they weighed over 11 pounds so they were massive. I'll do a review on them and let you know what we think about them. You can see Josh, he's become a world champion chicken plucker in a day. All right, we're on the next step. He's gonna take the legs off right at that joint. Boom, smooth as silk. Right now, make him a entryway Cutting the tail off. And I won't get on that end and spare you all that, but 
basically pulling the guts out. There we got the esophagus bleed right windpipe there. Cut the neck off. And what we're left with is a chicken. We're going to wash him out, wash him up. We're putting him on in the cooler. Tomorrow we're going to do some quality control, get all the little feathers off that we might have missed, dry them up. We're going to put them in the shrink bags and get them ready for the freezer. We'll video that too. So.